What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And as you see right here, I have my iPod Touch 5th generation. What we are going to be doing in this video today is we're going to be doing a screen shield install on this iPod Touch right here. Now you guys are probably like, why are you doing a video on a screen shield install? It's simple. You apply the screen shield. Well, here's the thing. There are people that try to install a screen shield and it doesn't work out well. Why is that? Well, for one, it's probably not lined up properly. Two, they got too much dust coming in. And three, they probably aren't applying it right and then it doesn't fit their case, whatever. But some most of the times, screen shields, it's a tight fit to fit on your case. Like, you have to get it exactly perfect. If you were using it naked, as my iPod is right now, then you don't have to worry about it. Well, I'm doing this video just to give you guys some tips and tricks for those of you that are having trouble applying screen shields on, all right? So, now there are screen shields that you could order from Amazon, uh, eBay, all that other websites, and as well as purchase from the store. And those could cost like around a dollar or so, but if you want like high quality screen shields, you know, then you'll probably be getting the ones that are like 14 bucks or something. In this case, this is the one that I have right here. This is the Stein Hall Ultra Crystal made by Spigen, also known as SGP. I heard a lot of good reports about Spigen. Uh, I heard that they're the best for high quality screen shields and a lot of people kind of like them. They are a bit expensive, but you know, to some people it's worth it. So I figure, why don't I give it a try to see if Spigen has kept up with that claim. So this is the packaging, nothing. Uh, nothing too exciting. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of screen shield. It tells you the features that it has, which of course is uh, one of the reasons why I bought this is because this is hard coded, so it's to prevent uh, like any scratches. Uh, not only that, this is high quality and this has good surface hardness. There is no rainbow effect, and Spigen claims that this is supposed to be easy to install. And what they used here to make that happen is dry adhesive. You know, which most screen shields are like that. Anti-UV ray coated and marks and fingerprints wipe away easily. That's also another reason why I bought this. And you guys hear any booming sound? Uh, currently at my house, there is thunderstorms. So without further ado, uh, let's open it up and see what's in here. Now I did, I did open it just to check it out. Uh, you know, like well, uh, what it comes with and. Uh, just to take a look at the screen itself, but you know, that's all you get. Well, that's all you get with this uh, speaking kit right here. So we'll throw that packaging out to the side. First of all, you get one squeegee, which is what you're going to be using uh, to uh, work out the air bubbles. You got like some booklet information right here. Oh, I get it. Okay, so uh, this gives you like a product guide of what are the products that they they sell over there at SGP uh, and as you can see you got some cases right here you got some for the uh, Galaxy Note, the Glass T the Glass T is actually a glass screen shield <laughs> and some people have tried it and they liked it they also have those for the iPhone 5 as well for those of you that are curious Neo Hybrid, Galaxy S3 all that other good stuff I a new iPad, iPhone you know all those other products that you could possibly have out there you get some dust removal tabs, which uh, it didn't say that on Amazon.com. So uh, I, I wonder how these work. Uh, uh, so far, it looks like these are just stickers, and then you just apply on the adhesive side to take it out. But uh, if I'm if for some reason I have to get any dust out because there are bubbles in there, I'm just gonna use some um, some scotch tape. And, you know that's not too bad. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Some little piece of paper. You do get a cleaning cloth right here, or a chamois as some people call it, which I don't know what the difference is for that. And then you get two screen shields. All right, so you get two of these. Uh, so reason why you get two is one, if the other one were to like scratch up and tore up or something, then you can uh, put the other one that you have, or maybe you mess up on your first install and then you just put on the new one. So I'm gonna take one of these and install it on my iPod Touch right here. Now when you're installing a screen shield 
You want to pick an environment where you're not going to have a lot of dust. Uh, all right, as simple as that. Also, you need to make sure that your hands are washed so that way you don't have any grease. If your hands are like greasy and oily and sweaty and all that, and you touch the adhesive side, and, and you're going to notice all those marks. Maybe you'll line it up perfectly, but you're going to notice a lot of marks. Okay, so let's take a look at the screenshot itself. You do have a cutout for the front facing camera right here, as you can see, as well as a cutout for the home button. I like the home button cutout because it's completely sealed. Uh, whereas nowadays there are companies that are making screenshots for the iPhone 5, iPhone Touch 5 generation, where this bottom piece is not on there, even for the iPad, which I don't understand why they would do that. Now, when you're installing a screen shield, you also want to and then make sure that your device doesn't have any dust on there. So I did clean this, but now dust is coming back on there, which is kind of making me nervous. I think my room is not the best place to do a screen shield install, or maybe I should have tried to install these myself without doing a video, but oh well. I can live with that. So, I keep noticing some dust. So this is as clean as I can get it. And now, a, another good tip is that if you have like a case or something, then go ahead and put your device in the case and just to see if it'll line up perfectly fine. Okay, so it's under and yeah, now I'm getting fingerprints again because I just touched the screen. Although I don't suggest doing this with like a silicone case because you know silicone is very tacky and it catches a lot of dust and this is the spec candy shell grip it's not it's not a silicone case it's more like a hard plastic but it's also got a soft touch to it alright well that's as clean as I can get it now of course when you put on your screen shield you want to line it up and just to make sure that, it, well, it fits. Simple as that. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get on to the install. I don't want to make this video too long. But I just keep noticing so much dust in here. At the same time, I shouldn't worry about it because this thing's not going to stay new forever. Well, it's not going to be the best install from what I can tell, but I'll just go ahead and get the bubbles out myself. So I'm going to lift one tab here. And let's get installing. If you have to, you can always just realign it properly. And I do apologize if my head is getting in the shot, which I'm not sure if it did. I'm trying to get it 
mind up with my case so that way I don't have any issues whenever I want to take my case off and I'm trying to prevent that from happening as much as possible which is why like I'm trying to realign it should be okay Hope if I get it all in one shot. Which yeah, this is tough. Yeah, I'm off on one side. I don't know if I can lift it up or should I just forget about it? Yeah, I well, let, let me go off camera right here and take a look. If I wasn't using a case, then I, I wouldn't care. But since I'm using a case, I had to make sure it's just right. So. No, no, I don't want to lift that. Okay, so I got it back up. And let me just... Oh, I'm not going to put that thing back on. I was going to, but I'm not going to. So let me just lift this up. Alright, well, it's not going to be the best screen shield install, and I do apologize for making this video longer than it's supposed to be. I didn't think that I'd be taking this much time on installing a screen shield. So, but you know what? I don't, I don't do these too often. My iPhone 3G and my iPhone 4, I got screen shields on it, and I have installed those. I just never did it on camera. So I'm gonna pop my case out right here. Now, it may look wrinkled right now, but that's on the protective film, not, not the actual screen part. Because I also have another, another film to peel off. So I'm just gonna work these air bubbles off. I mean, they do provide you with the card. You don't have to use the card I mean, you could like use your thumb to like work it out as well. Oh, I already got one dust in there. I mean, the reason why they have this protective film on there is to like keep the actual film protected while you're trying to work with these bubbles. And small bubbles, like they, they, they'll work themselves out eventually.
So for those of you guys that like want to try to install a screen shield, well, this is the way to do it. And if you don't have a case, it's even better, so that way you don't have to worry about it. For me, I got a case. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull it out. Yeah, I can tell I didn't line this up properly. Yeah, because I noticed that the front-facing camera, it's not li lined up. Well, I mean, it's not overlaying it, but I got too much room down on the home button right here. And the screen hinge shield does feel nice. Nice and nice and tacky, that's what it is. Um, the screen responsive is completely fine. You know, SGP did confirm that. So as you can see, I'm scrolling to my home screen right now. Completely fine. We'll go to Chrome. Yeah, scrolling's fine. Go to photos. Yeah, so pinching and zooming is fine. So I am going to keep using this screen shield and then eventually I'll do a full review on it. Why am I doing a full review on a screen shield? Well, because this is SGP. They claim that they make some of the higher quality screen shields. And I just want to give you guys like a screen shield brand that you can buy a a screen protector from to protect your device if you ever wanted to. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now. Take care.